Okay, today I'm going to talk about a watch that is a little bit controversial, so to speak. Uh, this is the watch. I'm sure many of you know this watch. Sorry about that. I'm sure many of you know what this is. I'm sure more than a few of you recognize that logo right there. Whether you love it or hate it, you recognize it. And that's the thing about these watches. Whether you love them or hate them, you recognize them. And they have brand recognition at this point. So let's get the uh, basics out of the way. This watch is the movement um, Black Link from their Chronograph series. It is 45 millimeter case size. The thickness is 12 millimeters. Um, the strap width is 22 millimeters. It's got a obviously a quartz chronograph movement, um, 50 meters water resistant, and a hardened mineral crystal. Uh, well, crystal. Okay. Obviously, it's black. Uh, the subdials are a a 24-hour clock, that's the minutes for the chronograph, and that is, uh, seconds, sorry, that is the minutes. It's not the chronograph, hopefully you can hear the, the sound. Okay. Chronograph is now running. Um, okay, so first I want to talk a bit about the watch. This one, uh, if it isn't obvious, is a friend of mine's, and he didn't baby it. He wanted a watch, he had a Tissot before that stopped working, so he ordered this. He likes the design, he likes chronographs, and he's uh, he likes metal, likes uh, everything being black, dark, evil, you know, all that good stuff. Now, uh, I've worn it for the past couple days, and I gotta say, everyone says you can't tell what time it is, blah, blah. It's easier to tell what time it is on this than on a skeleton watch, that's for sure. You can see those on the chapter ring, those little uh, indices. They're obviously the hour markers. And yeah, and in the daytime, you can see what time it is. There's no anti-reflecting coating on that crystal, so this can happen, which is annoying. The chronograph is basically useless, um, but it gives the watch a nice face. Now, he ordered one of these. It came in scratched, uh, damaged, and they sent him a new one. This one, which he wore and beat the crap out of for a couple of months for the years at this point. Anyway, so he gave it to me to mess with and um, see how it is, wear it, do this uh, quick review on it. And I gotta say, actually, I kinda like it. It's got a good heft to it. You know, it's all metal bracelet. There's the, the clasp. It also says uh, MVMT or movement. Movement. Uh, clasp will not open unless you obviously press in the button, the pushers, and it opens. We've seen watches much more expensive than this and from more uh, recognized brands with these kind of straps, so can't really give them hate about the strap. Three micro adjustments right there. Uh, push pins, not screw pins, obviously. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention there is a date window. That is, I can't really see because of minutes, but the date is in white and the background is in black. So keeping with the black minimalistic theme that a lot of higher price watches don't. Now, to put this watch itself aside and talk about movement as a company, um, they have brought to the market something that people have wanted. Uh, why would someone wear a Rolex or a mostly a Rolex these days because they're more notable or, or any homage to the Submariner for the image. Now, whether you like it or not, these watches, these, corn people say, crappy Chinese knockoffs, have brand uh, recognition. And, you know, they're all over Instagram. You wear the watch, someone's like, oh, it's a movement, that's so cool. I've worn my Vostok, I've worn my... Uh, my Pro Diver, uh, more than one Casio, a vintage citizen diver, no one cares. You wear this, people are like, what's that? 
they care. Overpriced, but then why is a premium brand uh, priced how it is? You're paying for the name, and so are you here at this point. Uh, their prices for what they offer are a bit high, but once you compare them to a band a brand, sorry, with recognition as a brand, then yeah, uh, they're not overpriced. Actually, you could say the quality, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, this would have been better with Sapphire, but he's worked as a bartender and ridden his motorcycle with it all the time, and he's performed with it on him. He's a, he uh, is a bassist and a vocalist in a metal band. And when we worked on his motorcycle, he didn't take it off. So this watch has been through hell and back and snowboarding and everything. And if I'm not mistaken, he wore it when he was in the army. So yeah, it's been beaten to shit and of course it's going to show it. But other than the, the face and the dial, which is annoying, I kind of like the look of the scratches on it. I think it adds character to it. So it doesn't bode the quality, the fact that it's still running and didn't break goes to the quality. Uh, yeah, I would like to see anti-reflective coating, which I'm sure they have by now. Let's stop, reset the chronograph. It's one of those. Yeah, I'd love to see anti-reflective coating on this, or, you know, a tiny bit more color, but yeah, it's a nice minimalistic design, easy to tell what time it is during the day. And the brand has brand recognition at this point which is something that cannot be bought and you cannot pay and you will pay more money for whether you like it or not you want to buy a citizen the uh, citizen diver the quartz diver it's gonna cost you more than the Casio Duro why why will a uh, quartz um, Tissot diver or any other brand diver cost more than the Casio Duro because it does because the brand has more recognition as a luxury brand than Casio do and I think it was T uh, Teddy Balthazar or, um, God, what's his name? Uh, Jordy Goodman, the time teller, who said that the watch industry has failed and movement have succeeded because they're giving the people what they want. You can't keep producing items you want or that you're famous for without giving the public what they want because you want my money, no one else's. It's the same reason why Ferrari are owned by Volkswagen. Uh, no, it's dumb of me. Lamborghini are owned by Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, Audi, whatever. Volkswagen own Audi, Audi own Lamborghini. Volkswagen own Audi. Volkswagen own Lamborghini. Design for the masses, eat with the classes. And this is what this is. Design for the classes, you're going to be eating with the masses because you're not going to be selling the product. You're going to be owned by someone else. There really is no way around it. Uh, I like their designs, the proportions are good, these lugs to me really fit the shape of the watch. Let me put it on my wrist, my tiny six and a quarter inch wrist here. That is how it looks on wrist. Not bad. I mean, I have a tiny wrist, and it contours pretty well to the wrist. I mean, yeah, for a 45, for a 45 diameter case, 45 millimeter case, sits pretty well. Well, I like the watch. You know what I'm gonna say? I like it just like I like my Invicta Pro Diver. Um, be it a bit overpriced for a quartz, in my opinion, yes, that's because I, as a rule, do not uh, like quartz movements. I prefer automatics. Um, but quartz have their merits, and they're thinner, smaller, lighter, as a, as a rule, generally. Uh, and obviously cheaper, and you don't mind beating up as much. I mean, had I seen a uh, Rolex Daytona looking like this, I would have been pissed off at the guy who did it to it. But this... Yeah, it's it's his beater watch, and now he has a smart watch, and he barely wears this anymore. Maybe when he goes, you know, puts on a suit for weddings and events, because he has streamlined and looks elegant. Love it or hate it, movement are here to stay. Uh, I think that as a brand, they are trying to uh, 
reinvent themselves, sort of, now that they've got um, an automatic watch, they have their new model, I think the Odyssey, it's, they named it, uh, I'll look up my form real quick, which I actually, gotta be honest, I kind of like, uh, I kind of like that in their new model, and yeah, they're a fashion company, they make their, uh, hold on, they make their sunglasses and they sell a lifestyle, but yeah, that's what people want. And here, I'll show you their new watch, their Odyssey, it's a 40 millimeter quartz. The price is in shekels, not dollars. There, you can see that it's, you know what? It looks kind of smart. Well, my phone isn't working. It does look, you know, Polished, mature. They're they're on a good direction. Whether you like them or not, they're here to stay, and they're taking a good direction. Signed crown. There you go. What's this? Okay. okay. Signed crown. All the angles are pretty good. This one is, uh, like I said, beaten the hell up. But when you look around it, the PVD coating obviously is taking a beating from what he's done to it. He's washed his hands with it, everything, so he knows it is 50 meter water per water resistant. I think he's maybe even gone swimming with it once, unintentionally. But I recently watched a couple of videos talking about the lugs, and they did the inverted lugs, so it's not ginormous because the lugs don't jut out with a uh, center link. With all the hate they get, they designed their watches pretty good. These aren't badly designed. The execution may be better and people may not like them because of what they represent, but they represent the new direction for the technology and for the industry, which hopefully other brands will follow, actually giving the public, us, what we want. Uh, look at Audemars Piguet and their Royal Oak. They basically made that watch and nothing else. That's not what the public wants, it's what they want to make and how they want to make money. Movement or brand, that what they stand for is making money. How do you make money? By making what the public wants. So, next video, video will hopefully be about a camera. Uh, like I said, I got more than one subject on this uh, channel, so hopefully about a camera. But yeah, about the movement, you know what? If you would take a bit off the price and get a good discount, I totally get their dive watch. It's nice, you know, it's black, got a red, blood red bezel. Silicone band, yeah, I definitely get their uh, dive watch. If you could tell me it's got a, any coating on the crystal and for a little bit cheaper, I'd get it. And they make great gifts. People know what they are. So, me, signing out.